All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Ruchah I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and blessings, Shalom, to the hopeful elect. This is Brother Yagadah Lamar, back with another lesson. And um, I want to start off, man, um, pretty much by saying, man, if you are under the belief or energy that you have to uh, partake in a water, water baptism, man, you are in a completely carnal mind and the Holy Spirit is not dealing with you, man. And that's uh, one of the main things I'm going to uh, go into, Lord willing, man, and uh, bring out some edification through the Spirit that the Holy Spirit is what cleanses you and that's uh, chosen by the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai, man, on who that Spirit is going to rest upon to give understanding uh, to and to believe on the promises and believe on Yahweh Shai, okay, and because um, uh, it's it's in these days and time, man, a, a water baptism, man, you might as well be in a Baptist church, man, if you pushing that you have to be baptized in water, man, that's a, a a carnal mentality and it shows that you're not being a spiritual person, okay, and understanding what truly cleanses you, okay, what really gives you a uh, remission of sins man okay which is this word man okay truly believing in this word man okay so uh i want to entitle this lesson believe and be baptized man and uh you got some scriptures lined up but i'm gonna roll through the spirit man uh so as always lord willing to be some edification in this video all right and this is uh the book of acts chapter five salakia chapter eight and verse twelve it says, but when they believed, uh, believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of Yahweh and the name of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, they were baptized, both men and women. All right. I want to start off with that because it's very plain, man. Okay. The men and women that heard uh, Philip teaching. Okay. What? They believed and they were baptized, man. Okay. Let me read verse 13 it says, then Simon himself believed also. And when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and, and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. Okay. So this is, and back then there was, it was many miracles and things to testify of man, proving, uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to gain, uh, people's faith, man, through the spirit. Okay. But now the spirit is resting upon men. And we don't have actual physical miracles that we can uh, recognize, man. Okay? We recognize the miracle of uh, so-called Latinos, Native Americans, and Negroes out on the highways and byways doing something that we've never seen, man. Okay? And, and on this side, it's all about it, this thing is, is, is even in these times is even more about faith and truly believing in something, okay? That we've never seen. We have no infallible proofs as you read in, uh, in Acts chapter 1. Okay, I'm gonna grab another scripture, man, and just kind of just show that it, it, it's it's all about the Holy Spirit, man. Which is a sp uh, uh, well, I'm, I'm I'm not gonna jump too far ahead, man. I'm gonna read this scripture first, man. This is uh Matthew chapter three and verse eleven. It says, "I indeed baptize you, baptize." You with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Okay, so that's what we're dealing with, man. The baptism of the Holy Spirit, man. Okay, and we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna grab a couple scriptures, man. All right, to edify the point of what is the Holy Spirit, man. Okay, what is this Holy Spirit? That, that Yahweh Shai was going to baptize with, and then he was passing that on to the disciples for them to go uh, 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 continue on, all right, with this uh, 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 teaching, all right, okay, and baptizing with the Holy Spirit, okay? I'm going to grab one more scripture just, uh, just to go hand in hand with, uh, with Matthew 3 and uh, 11. And uh, this is the book of John, chapter one and verse thirty-three. It says, "And I knew, and I knew him not, but he 
that sent me to baptize the water, the same said unto me, upon uh, whom thou shalt see the spirit descending and remaining on him, the same is he which baptized it with the Holy Spirit, okay? And we know it says Holy Ghost in there, but uh, it, it should be Holy Spirit, man, okay? So let's find out what is this Holy Spirit, man, that that uh, that the Lord uh, was coming to uh, baptize with following uh, John, which was baptized. And he, he stated he was baptized and uh, to repentance with water, which was really it was just uh, to symbolize the true baptism, man. OK, because this thing is about believing on the kingdom of heaven, believing on you, how and all the promises and uh, the things that uh, were given unto that are going to be given unto Israel, man. Okay, so what would being uh, dipped in some water uh, uh, prove, man? Or what, what, how would that do anything, man? What changed you is you believing in the teachings, okay, of the word, man. All right, and then the truth of the word. Okay, so it's a quick precept. This is uh, Ephesians chapter 1, and I'm going to start at verse 13. It says, in whom ye also trusted after that he heard the word of truth, the gospel of, of your salvation. All right. In whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. So what is the Holy Spirit? It's the spirit of truth, man. Okay. When we get this gospel, this good news, man, the truth uh, against all the lies that we were being taught, depending uh, no matter what. You came out of, man. Okay, we got the, the Holy Spirit was the spirit of truth that rested upon us. And how do we get it? From men teaching, man. All right? We didn't have to go go down to no river or no lake in, in, in an all-white, uh, um, uh, uh, I don't know wonder what they want to call it, robe or whatnot, and get uh, dipped in some water, man. All right? We were dipped and submerged into, the, uh, into this word, man. Okay? But let me read on. It says, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased pro uh, possession unto the praise of his glory. Wherefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Yahweh Shai and loved unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the most high power of our Lord Yahweh Shai the, the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Okay. So that's how, uh, uh, that, that's, that's what the baptism is, man. Okay. Believing in the truth, man, getting this wisdom. All right. And the scripture just said, man, the revelation and the knowledge of him believing in Yahweh Shai. Okay. And all the other things that come with that, man. Okay. All the promises, man. Okay, getting the full truth, man. You know, of course, you're not gonna get it all initially, but that 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 initial teaching and hearing of the word, that's what washes you, man. You start. Uh, that's the beginning of you. Uh, um, uh, basically, uh, um, the beginning of your repentance, man. Okay, you start learning the truth versus all the lies, and that's what's making you clean. That's what's making you whole. Okay, it says the eyes of your understanding being uh, enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory in his inheritance and in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward who believe according to the working of his mighty power. Okay. Right, I want to read that uh, the last two verses, 18 and 19. Once again, man, those are two heavy verses, man, just edifying, uh, the point uh, of this lesson, man, believing and being baptized, man, okay, being emerged and uh, submerged into this water, man, all right, which is uh, is through the word, through the teaching, okay, it's Ephesians 1 and 18, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, so it's letting you know, man, once you, uh, once you, uh, the spirit is, is placed upon you, man, you receive that Holy Spirit, that's the beginning of your understanding being, uh, 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 enlightened man okay the beginning of your path unto righteousness you start learning and continue to learn all the ways of the heavenly father all right uh, 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 uh that was given to us to be perfect man all right you start learning the ways to be clean man okay which uh it uh starts off spiritually man all right with your faith okay 
it says uh the verse 18 the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling okay what is the hope of his calling okay what are we even called to do this for what is the what is going to be the reward for us uh 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 if we uh answer properly through the spirit to his calling man okay and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints man? all right understanding the kingdom of heaven man that we have a promise for us man and we have certain things that we're gonna have to do once we're in this grace period all right to to receive that kingdom man all right the first go around eventually all of israel is gonna be saved man okay but verse 19 it says and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us with who believe according to the working of his mighty power man okay so it's all about believing man that's 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 what this uh uh uh, uh the ones that were truly baptized all right started off with that that process started by them believing man okay they didn't have to go to get uh get dipped in uh no water in a white robe man they didn't have to go through nothing uh, uh some uh specific physical t uh um process for them to be baptized man okay this is uh the book of john chapter 14 and verse 26 it says but the comforter which is the holy spirit whom the Father will send in my name, this is Yahweh Shah speaking, he shall teach you all things and all and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you, man. Okay. So we did already uh uh been to different scriptures letting you know that this is about the uh believing in the in the truth, man, the spirit of truth, the spirit of this word, which is gonna come through the through the men of the Lord, through the prophets, okay. And just a footnote, it's not going to be the comforter is not one specific man uh, walking the earth, man. Okay. Okay. So, uh, and just to, I'm going to jump over the book of Acts real quick. Uh, and this is uh, Acts chapter one. And I'm going to start at verse two. It says, Unto, until the day in which he was taken up. After that, he through the Holy Spirit had given commandment unto the apostles whom he had chosen. Okay. So now, according to uh, um, anybody that believes in the water baptism, now shouldn't the Lord just commanded them to go out and and, uh, and start baptizing uh, with water? Okay. But let me read on, man. It says, to whom also ye showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs okay undeniable proof man all right that that this is the one truth and there's no other option there's no other way okay being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of heaven so what he was teaching them of the kingdom of heaven man preparing giving them the ammunition all right to go out and t and continue teaching what uh he left for them man okay concerning the teachings man the proper understanding man all right it says and being assembled together with them commanded them that they should not depart from jerusalem but wait for the promise of the father which he said which which said he ye have heard of me for john truly baptized with water but ye shall be baptized with the holy spirit not many days hence man Okay, so John was set up to do the water baptism, man. But symbolism, uh, to but to symbol it was it was just symbolizing, okay, symbolic of the spiritual baptism, which was gonna come through believing in true teachings, man. All right, believing, uh, uh, and that was only to the ones that the Holy Spirit was uh rested upon, man. All right, in verse um, verse two, it said to the one apostles whom he had chosen, man. Okay, so that falls all the way into this current time that we in, man. All right, the only ones that's going to have the Holy Spirit is the ones that uh, Yahweh Shai have chosen, man. Okay, and what are they going to do? They're going to go out and they're going to teach the truth, okay? And and therefore, they're going to continue the same baptism that they uh, were a part of, man, okay? By putting the word out there and then ca with casting out that spiritual net, Okay, and then bringing it in the ones that were set to believe, man. Okay, uh, just want to grab this quick account. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna grab two different accounts in the book of Acts, man, because we we live in the book of Acts right now. This is uh, Acts chapter ten and verse forty-two. 
and he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify that it is he who was ordained of Yahweh to be the judge of the quick and dead. To him give all the prophets witness that through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins. All right. And that's only pertaining to Israelites, man. That's not uh, to everybody, man. Okay. This is all about Israel, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. So they, these Christians try to take that. So whosoever believe it. First of all, uh, you have to believe on the Lord as the scriptures have said. All right. And these so-called Christians, they're not going to believe that the Lord is a so-called black man. They're not going to believe in the physical kingdom of heaven being here on earth. They're not going to believe in all the th the truth of the, of the Bible, man. Okay. Okay, which Yahweh shot comes in the volume of, all right? So, uh, verse 44, and this is the point. It says, while Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Spirit fell on all them which heard the word. It said nothing about a water baptism, all right? It said all them that heard the word, the words that Peter was teaching, man. Okay. And when you go further up, uh, 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 well, matter of fact, I'm gonna grab a, a little bit of it just real quick. Try to run through it, uh, quick. This is, um, just to see what, what was, uh, what did Paul start, uh, teaching, man? Okay. This is, uh, Acts 10 and verse 34. It says, then Peter, oh, Salakia, Peter. All right. I said, Paul, uh, uh, I meant to say Peter. It says, uh, it's Acts 10 and 34. And then Peter opened his mouth and said of a truth. I perceive that Yahweh is no respecter of persons, but in every nation that he fe uh, feared him and worked his righteousness and is accepted with him. The word which Yahweh sent unto the children of Israel, so it's specified. All right, that's why I wanted to grab this, uh, uh, grab this, all right, just to cover for these wacky tacky Christians, man. All right, when it said whosoever, whosoever of the children of Israel. Okay, I'm read verse 36 again. It says, the word which Yahweh sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Yahweh Shai. He is Lord of all. Okay. All right. So it was dealing with Israel. Those are the ones, the only ones that could receive the Holy Spirit and believe, man. Believe in the, in the truth, man. And that's what this is all about. Believing and being baptized. Okay. By the word. It's another account. This is a... Uh, um, the book of Acts chapter 16, I'm going to start at verse 25, okay? And this was after uh, Paul and Silas was uh, uh, placed in prison, man, okay? It's uh, Acts 16 and 25. It says, and at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto Yahweh, and the prisoners heard them, and suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were open, and everyone everyone's bands were loosed and the keeper of the prison awaking out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open he uh he drew out his sword and would have killed himself supposing that the prisoners had been fled but paul cried with a loud voice saying do thyself no harm for we are all here then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before paul and silas and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, and thou shalt be saved and thy house. How plain is that, man? All right, this is all about believing in Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? Elsewise, you're not going to, it's not for you, man. And this is for the ones it's pre it's predestined, man. There's no there's no uh swaying anybody, man. The ones of the elect are gonna believe on the word, man. That's why we're not out here just grabbing any old Jake and trying to force the scriptures down their head, man. Grabbing anybody who oh, oh, you wanna be uh baptized, okay, we we'll meet you here in this city. Oh, we're gonna baptize you and this all this madness. No, man. All right. I'm gonna grab one last scripture just to uh drive that point home, man. It says, uh, this is Ephesians chapter 5 and 26. It says that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. All right. How much more plain could that be, man? 
All right? Well, I'll read verse 27. It says that he might present it to him self a glorious church not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing but that it should be holy and without blemish okay and that also shows you that you truly believe that the uh, man the uh, yahweh shah is who's cleaning us man all right with the holy spirit man by giving us his understanding and knowledge man okay to begin our journey onto uh righteousness man okay seeking to be perfect through yahweh shah that's that's how we uh, are, are are justified and made perfect through Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, being chosen of Him, all right. To uh, to um, well, matter of fact, I'm gonna jump up in this uh, chapter, man. All right, I'm, I I didn't even mean to bring the scripture out, but it it must happen, man. Um, this is uh, Ephesians five and fourteen. It says, "Wherefore He said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Mashiach shall give thee." light and what is the light the knowledge wisdom and understanding okay and that's what woke us up that's what cleansed us okay that's what made us whole that's what healed us okay all by the understanding of yahweh shy man okay so uh lord willing this lesson was edifying i'm gonna end it on that uh, once again i want to give all praise honor and glory unto yahweh by shem yahweh shy by shem Chakurash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and blessings. Shalom unto the hopeful elect.